All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah. I came doing and pushing this word on honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide, and a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, I got to get into this video, you know what I mean, and I'm guilty. I was supposed to be checking in with the brothers over here, you know what I mean? Though I'd be checking in, you know, with the brothers, but, you know, like the brother uh, in Montreal has said, you know, you got brothers in your own city, you could check in with them. Here it is, you're checking in with, you know, brothers, like, for instance, with me, brothers down in the islands and whatnot, some brothers in the States and whatnot. But you have brothers in your own city, okay? And like I had said before, I've quoted this before, I was in the truth. So uh, tunnel vision, I didn't even look up GMS Toronto, okay? I was so tunnel vision, it was like, I didn't even bother, you know, you're so involved in what you're involved in. And I, I had said this story earlier, I can't today. You know, I was so involved in what I was involved in that I didn't, you know, take into account. Yeah, you know what? I should go check in with the brothers, you know what I mean? But I was more, let me find out what I'm involved in. Let me find out what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Because a year or two years in the truth, you still wet behind the ears, okay? So it wasn't until like four or five years, you know, after I'm in the truth, then I, you know, started looking up different brothers, different areas and whatnot. So, you know, I'm guilty of not checking in with the brothers. The brother told me to check in one time too. It was last year, you know, that's a little bit too slothful, but time and chance happened to every man, right? But, you know, you got to check in at least once, two, three times, four times, as much as you can. You know what I mean? Because these, these brothers are doing the same thing as you. You're in a brotherhood, okay? So I put it like this. You're in a brotherhood, all right? And I do have to say, that is kind of a uh, suspect, you know, agent-like kind of, you know, weird behavior because if you're doing the same thing as these brothers and you know, all grudges aside and all that stuff, you know, you're not as one, you're not as one as who is in the world. You're one who is in this brotherhood. So it's kind of weird and suspect and agent like behavior to do that. Okay. Even though like, yeah, like I said, I check in with the brothers in the islands and stuff and some in the States, you know, but actually to go to your brothers and, and, and whole camp with them. And you know what I mean? That's where it's at. That you got to do that, okay? And no, I'm not calling myself an agent. What the fuck? Like that's stupid. I'm not no agent. I'm all here in, in the fear of Yahweh Hashem Shai. But that is, you know, suspect spy agent type of weird behavior, okay? Here it is. You got a camp in your city and you can't make it to them, or you can't get to those brothers. It's almost as if you have a grudge against them, or you know what I mean? It's just weird. So, you know, you got to check in. You got to check in with your brothers, okay? Because they're doing the same thing as you. So let's get into these scriptures real quick. And I said, like I said, yes, I'm guilty. I, you know, you know, I should have been checking in with the brothers from a long time ago. But that's all to change, you know, through the will of your Yahweh Hashem I'm going to go check in with the brothers and continue on, you know. Because we, you know. I don't got no grudge against the brothers. I, you know, we're all out here doing the work. So why can't you check in? Okay. And like I said, time and chance happen to every man. You know, you might be busy running a business, this and that. But you got time to go on the highways and byways, time to make your videos. Well, what about the brotherhood? You know, show charity to your brotherhood as well. Those who are in your city. Those who are readily, you know, you know available to you. Okay. So let's get into this real quick. Because we're not like these uh, other people out here, man. We're not We're not the same, okay? We're not the same as them. Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what accord have Hamashiach with Baal? Or what part 
have he that believe with an infidel, an unbeliever, okay? So these brothers of believers, they're coming in the same mind, right? So be yoked with them, but be not yoked together with unbelievers, okay? With unrighteous men. These are righteous men. These are your brothers. They're doing the same thing as you, okay? So you should be looking towards, you know, that stronghold in a sense, because the name of the Lord is a stronghold, yes, but here, yeah, the truth can be found at this altar right here, okay? Sometimes, you know, that this is what I'm going to say. Sometimes that lone wolf spirit is, is a dangerous thing for you, man. Because not much, not much people, I'm not going to, you know, some brothers can take order on their own, right? As it tells you, you're obeying not also in my, in my presence, but also in my absence, right? Some brothers could take order. Some brothers could, you know, actually function by themselves, right? But it's important to get yourself to a camp to figure out things with experience. Because some brothers may experience things. You want alone, through your experience, you're not going to get the whole thing, right? But in a camp, brothers will share their experiences. And it's better, like the brother had said in Montreal, it's better for you to learn that experience right now instead of going a whole 15 yards, 20 yards down the, and down the road to learn that. Well, if it's the Lord's will to do that, it's the Lord's will to do that, you know what I mean? But here it is, you had the opportunity with a camp to build up more faster in the spirit because time is ticking. Leasing is hard at hand. We're coming, things are coming down the pipe, okay? Right now, as you see, Trudeau, he, he damn near won us off the street, okay? Life imprisonment for preaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai on the streets. <laughs> you never thought we'd see these days? Well, now we're seeing these days. So all those unbelievers, we are never yoked together with them. We were yoked together with brothers that believed that are going to go through the same situations as us, okay? That's why the scriptures tell you that what? Yep, Sirach chapter 37. Let me get it real quick. Sirach chapter 37 and verse 12. But be continued with the godly man who thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and who will sorrow with thee, if thou shalt miscarry. Okay? So as you can see right there, the Lord is telling you, be continued with the godly man who thou knowest to keep the commandments. Okay? You're supposed to be in tune with your brothers. Okay? The brotherhood is not there to just, it's like some hangout or something like that. No, it's to build you up, man. And I always said before, when brothers do lives and all these things, it's not just for a hangout. I mean, it's not for a hangout. This is serious work that we're doing here, okay? Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Yep, 35. Uh, Sirach chapter 6 and verse 36. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get, get the big B times onto him right away, quick. And, oh man, how size stinks, man. If thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him. And what does the Most High say? With all thy getting, get understanding. And let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Let thy mind be a, upon the ordinance continually of the Lord, of the Lord, and meditate continually. Let thy mind be on the ordinance of the Lord, and meditate continually. In his commandments, and he shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. Main point, if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him. Okay? Your brothers have the same understanding. They're full of the, 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 the you know, knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh Okay? So, you know, be brotherly. Okay? Join on to your brothers, man. Instead of that lone wolf spirit being out there by yourself, and then eventually what happens is the wolf come and take it to you, okay? Because you see, you got brothers, you got the pack, okay? And then you got brothers who check in, you know? And then you got brothers who are just in that lone wolf spirit, give praises, honors to Yahweh Shemel Shai, double honors to the apostles. But yo, when you get weak, remember, you're not, you're not exactly with the pack. But if you keep checking in, 
You know what I mean? It keeps that uh, vein alive, keeps that circuit alive, right? And you stir closer to the to the pack, rather than the lone low low sh- lone wolf uh, uh, syndrome, right? Where you're I'm old there woman, so this that whatever, okay. But when you get weak, you're more vulnerable to those wolves than the one who's you know what I mean. Always around the back because guess what? Come for one another with these words. Strengthen one another, right? And if you don't have a brother there to kind of drop you the line, oh brother, read this scripture. Oh brother, here's this prayer. I prayed for you. Da 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 da. You know, you might not get back up. Those wolves might really hit nick a vein, uh, 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 um, you know, a vital vein, and that's it for your ass. You're leaking, okay? Um, First Peter chapter one and twenty two, seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfringed love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart, heart fervent. Okay. And if you off to the side, you know, you might do a video respond, you might be in a live with the brother or whatnot. But you ain't even checking in with the brothers, man. You ain't showing showing up and showing showing up is uh checking in and showing up, okay? You know, you your presence being there amongst the brothers and, and uh, uh breaking bread, as we say, okay? That's love, okay? And that's love for the brotherhood, all right? Don't you want to see your brothers? You just want to see them on TV. You know, you go personally, you know, break bread with those brothers. You know what I mean? At the end of camp, they go their way, you go your way. You know, and Lord's will, you can get out there again to check in. You see how Esau, Edom, and these people get together. They go to a bar, this and that. And they do it all, all in the wrong reasons. But we're we're gathering in righteousness. Which when the angels and Yahweh, Shem Shai see it that, you know, it pleases them. Because we're coming in faith. Okay. Uh, let's go to another one. Yep, Psalms. But I have love for the brotherhood, man. Not just from a distance. Actually showing up. And like I said, I'm guilty. And enough of that. that that's coming to an end. Okay. Psalms chapter 133 and verse 1. Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Right. To dwell together in unity. You know, you might have some brothers way off in another country. But here it is, you got brothers right here in the same country as you, that you could actually go, pull up to the camp, Saturday, whatever, break bread. So dwell in unity with your brothers, okay? Show that love, show that uh, sincerity, you know what I mean? Let's go to another one real quick. Hebrews 13 and 1, let brotherly love continue, okay? So be, 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 um, you know, be a brother, okay? Be, be a true brother, man. Show up, break bread, charity, you know what I mean? If, if you were thinking about something, if you be otherwise minded, God shall reveal this even unto you, Okay? You gather up experience. You get to hear certain things that, you know, the comment board, you can't keep up in certain conversations. But you're right there. You get to ask questions, okay? And then brothers get to ask you questions too as well. Stop being a mystery. Stop being a, a, a you know, a lucid, you know, prophet, <laughs> Okay? And like I said, I, 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 hey, you could dish it out. Well, I guess what? I could take it and I could dish it out. I know when I'm wrong. I know how to admit my wrongs. You know what I mean? And that's it, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But warn to him that is alone. When he falleth, he have not another to help him up. Okay? And it goes on to tell you so on and so forth. But 
That's it, man. You and this truth, you got brothers. And they can help you out in situations. Not just, uh, uh, you know, uh, not just like, hey, brother, my car broke down. I need some scroll, you know. But no, through your walk, through this whole walk of ours, man, it's not going to be easy. And you're going to need a brother's shoulder to lean on. Lean on me. <laughs> remember that? Lean I, I can't remember. I, I like, okay, lean on me when you're not strong. You know? But you know what I'm talking about. And you're going to need that shoulder to lean on. Or you're going to snap. Okay? But... You know, there's some that uh, Yahweh Shimei Oshai has put them in that path, you know, for a reason. And then eventually, you know, his will, right? all all things is his will. However he wanted it done, it's done, right? But it's better to be apart and show your face and that charity, because brothers don't know you from Jack, right? If you out there. Nobody never seen you, but they seen you on the comment board and all this stuff. Like I said, that's suspicious, weird behavior. Okay. First Peter five and five. Let's go through these real quick. I end it out here. First Peter five and five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Ye, all of you, be subjected one to another. And be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Right? All you be subjected one to another. Okay, if you are far in another distance, another uh, time zone, as I say, it's, it's like if you in a part of the brotherhood, man. Okay? To submit yourself onto somebody else. Like if a brother asks you, oh, brother, can you do this for me? Can you do that? I'm in the reach. I'm in the reach for him to ask that. Oh, I got your number. I got this on the WhatsApp. But if you off somewhere in a little corner, you know, you're not really uh, submitting yourself. You're not really coming, you know what I mean, in an orderly fashion onto the house. Like you're just taking your orders any which way. Anytime that I'm going through a situation, I go to the brothers, ask them, what should I do? Hey, when I had the individual at camp there, okay, he uh, started acting, doing shit out of, out of pocket, like weird. So I was like, nah, man, I got to consult with the elders, I mean, with the brothers, and see what to do with this situation here. And the situation came that, yeah, you should take him, tell him to get out of camp, Okay. Do his videos, apologize, you know what I mean? And that individual, he did none of that. In fact, that individual, he was coming in that type of spirit too, like a lone wolf, glory for myself, you know what I mean? I want to be the head type shit. I didn't come, when I went to the highways and byways, that was not what it was about. Because the elders in New York, they, you know, the brothers in the camp, they're the elders. They told me, hey man, you better get your ass out on the highways and byways. You've been learning. We always see you in every fucking life. We know who you are, okay? We know your steps, all right? You, all these uh, sit-downs, that's all good and great. But how come we're not seeing your face? How come we're not seeing you out in the highways and byways? And they rebuked me on that. And I got my camera. I got everything set. The other say, hey, you got your camera. You got it. Go. All right, go. And I did. I went out and I started preaching, Okay. And that was an order given to me. You better, you better, you, you better get your ass out there, because here it is. You've been sitting for all these years, learning this truth, and we ain't seen one video of you out in the highways and byways. So yeah, I didn't get proud. You know what I mean? I did what I was supposed to do. Take my, take my, um, you know, order from another brother who was over me, from an elder. Two, two, three elders that was over me, Salaki and the brothers that were there, okay? And I went and did what I had to do. I didn't fuss up. I didn't get proud. I didn't get crazy. Because, look, like I said, if you can't take order by yourself, like, when I mean by myself, I'm not by myself. I'm in the body. But I mean, like, with nobody right there beside me, I got my elder over me or whatever in 
you know, if you can't take order by yourself, where it's coming from somebody from another part of the world, and they tell you, look, humble yourself down and do this and do that and do that, and you can't do it, then you're a disorderly individual. You should be somewhere in a camp getting correction because you can't take fucking order, okay? Just like I was saying at camp, these people get old, they go, well, now you're not my parent. Don't tell me what to do. Well, I have the ability to judge you. He that is spiritual judge of all things. Yeah, he himself is judge of no man. And then on top of that, too, if you're in the truth and you're like that, right? Like this individual that was with me, he was like that, man, in a sense. He was like, you can't tell me what to do, you know? So, well, look what happened. Okay, he's not in the truth. He's out in the world withering. I'm pretty sure him and his cousin are out there withering, man. Okay? And, hey, once you go out that way, man, he went out in a proud fashion. He didn't want to listen. He wanted to be, I'm the man. I'm second in command. There's, what do you mean? You're not even doing videos, okay? But anyways, that, that here for real, man. That, you know, he's long gone now. Sirach chapter 21 and verse 15. A skillful man. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add on to it. But as soon as one no understand it, hear it, it displeases him and cast and he casts it behind his back. Right. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add on to it. Okay? We commend what the brothers are are are, are you know putting forth. Because it's righteous. It's the same thing that we're doing. Okay, same thing that we're pro proclaiming. Okay. So we add on to it. We commend it, salute, add on to it. Okay. In fact, I was supposed to go into that word commend and um, the etymology, but y'all can get that. James chapter 5. What is that? Six, eight, oops, what the hell? James chapter 5 and 16 confess your faults one to another. If you're by yourself, who the hell are you going to confess to? I mean, I'm confessing to, you know, the brotherhood, right? But if you're not checking in with nobody, nobody knows you, you just say, oh, I'll praise the duty, I'll about shimmy or shy, a board warrior type style, slide in, slide out, nobody in knowing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Who the hell are you confessing to, okay? Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. And if you're out there by yourself, who praying for you? Okay? That ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You're right. So if a brother is, if you account yourself to be, you know, in this truth and walking after the Alba Shimei Shai and thinketh think yourself to be in that position of a righteous, you know, are doing with the righteous are, you know what I mean? You want to say it humbly. You don't want to say because the Yahweh Shai said none is none is righteous. We're working towards that goal, right? But if you have a you know brotherhood and this man's doing good, that man's doing good, that man's doing good, you know, his prayers are heavy. The most high hears his prayers. And they are able to heal you. Now if you're out there by yourself, who the hell is sending up prayers for you, man? Okay? Yeah, you yourself, but who the hell else is sending up prayers for you, man? You know? Very uh very easy. You know, not 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 nothing too hard. The scriptures uh, I'm going through them. The scriptures are clearly telling us what to do. Okay. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shemil Shai. Proverbs chapter twenty seven and verse seventeen. Iron sharpeneth iron. So a man sharpeneth the consonants of his friend. And who are true friends? The ones who are true neighbors, friends, brothers, the ones in this truth, the ones proclaiming the same message you're proclaiming. Okay? This is a brotherhood. We can't be, you know, ignorant against each other, right? So we got to do everything in order and decency. The apostle elders say, check in. You got to check in. You know, the brothers over here, you know, he told me, you got to check in. And I got to check in. You know, it's been a year, damn near a year. Okay? And I feel slothful about that. 
I feel sorrowful about that. You know, pray on the Alba, Shimmy Al Shai, please, Bubba Kusha, Bubba Kusha, Bubba Kusha, forgive me for that. You know, but like I said, time and chance happen to every man, right? And man's going to the Lord, how then can a man understand his ways? But knowing and seeing, you know, the times that we're in and the shit that we're going through and the scriptures that we are reading, where it's telling us to be brotherly, keep brotherly love up, you know. Be, 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 you know, dwell in love and let that young, unity show, okay? Yeah, so it's no, it's no brainer, man. I gotta go see my brothers, okay? So, hey, let me um, end on this scripture here. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. And like I said, a lot of people who are out there by themselves because they don't have somebody watching over them. They're just doing whatever the hell they want to do. And they're not coming in the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're not being orderly, okay. And the orderly thing to do, if you have a camp in your city, like the brother said, is get your fucking ass to that camp, okay. Check in, show your fucking face, okay. So, hey, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem. Raka Kwadash, double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified, Lord willing, to the next time. Wa Abad Shalom Akim.